Greetings, esteemed curators, and welcome back to the Proxy Brewery. Today I have a tutorial for you on how to create a flag with an icon that conforms naturally to the organic shape of the flag. Now, this is a pre recorded tutorial. I couldn't do this live because I kept stumbling over my words. So uh, we'll just do this in After Effects. As you can see, we have a flag here with an icon, and I'm posing it with the pose brush in sculpt mode. And it's actually performing quite well for how simple this setup is. It does sometimes break in very small ways, which you could also just fix with the grab tool. But generally, this gives a very nice shape and keeps most of our icons and other detailed geometry that we would want to stick out for 3D printing intact. Now I'm going to show you how we do this. Um, first, we're going to create a cube, and we will scale that up to the size of a flag, approximately. Now throughout this tutorial, you will see me applying the scale of the object. And that's necessary for later parts, but you shouldn't have to do it as much as I do. Right here, we are selecting the outer faces, insetting them, and then extruding the faces along normals to create some sort of rim, uh, a border for our flag. I'm also enabling cavity mode in the top right so that we can better see the edges. What we're going to do then is we're going to import a scalable vector graphics, which is just an SVG file. So any sort of icon that you would want, you would just create it to, or rather convert it to SVG and then import it into Blender. We will then scale our logo approximately to where it will fit inside of the flag. We're going to join it and then add a solidify modifier. And we're going to give it the thickness that is approximately that of the flag. Visual geometry to mesh. Then we're going to select our flag and give it a few cuts by pressing Ctrl R and then scrolling up. We're going to move our icon into the center of the flag so that it intersects it. And then we're going to give it a remesh modifier to give it the appropriate amount of polygons that we need, but not too much. This will ensure that it can follow along with the mesh to form that we're going to apply later. Also make sure to remove disconnected. Check that off. We don't want anything to be removed. Visual geometry to mesh. And basically that's all the setup we need. At this point we can create a cube and scale it to encompass both our flag and our icon. And if you want to see what is inside of it, we can go to display, viewport display, and set the display as to wire. We're then going to select everything and apply the scale. And then we're going to select our cube and add loop cuts to this as well. Now what we can do is apply the mesh deform modifier to both our icon and our flag. And as target object, we select the encompassing cube that we made. And then we select bind. We can do the same here with the flag. Select it, press bind. And here you go. Now, if we go to sculpt mode and select the pose brush and set the deformation to cloth simulation with a couple of IK segments, we can now easily deform our flag by just dragging the mouse and pressing tab. And as you can see, there we go. Our flag and icon deform, and it looks very organic. It is a bit blocky though, so what we can do is add a subdivision modifier to the flag, which will remove most of the 
weird um, visible polygons or faces rather. And if we want to bring back the sharp edges, we can select the edges in edit mode and apply a crease. Now you see here that I'm struggling to find all of these edges. It's mostly up to personal preference, how you want it to look. Once you've got these edges selected, you can click item and then under edges data, increase the mean crease value. I'm trying to select these inner edges as well. And that's going to give us roughly the shape that we desire. And there you go. I hope that was helpful. You can now use this to create any flag you like for any regiment. You can use this to make capes. You can use this to make clothing. Pretty much anything you like and it will deform mostly pretty nicely for 3D printing. All right, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for you today. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment if it was helpful. And uh, if you want this file, you can join my Discord and I'll leave this file in the free files channel. Okay, thank you very much and until next time.